Hello, St. Luke's. Um, it is summer in Atlanta. Um, it's even warm in this church. Um, <laughs> so we hope you're doing well and doing what you need to do to stay cool. We've got for us what feels like kind of a light Sunday, but I think the right lane for this part of August. I know a lot of you are traveling and a lot of you are in town. Um, one of the things we're going to do, which I'm excited about, is we're going to have, I'm going to have uh, coffee with our eight o'clock crew. So if you're curious about who comes to eight, um, what right one is, um, what a service would even be without music at St. Luke's, um, we're just going to have coffee and check in, see how they're doing and what they love about um, what's happening at eight and what we're getting wrong and how we think about that for the year to come. So if you haven't been coming in this summer and you've got something to tell me um, about eight o'clock, that's when you do it. It should be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to that conversation. I don't know if you're free at nine o'clock, but you're welcome to join if you'd like. Always love to hang out with the eight o'clockers between service for some coffee and conversation. It's it's should a really great service. Yeah, it's pretty good, really fun. Um, and is, is fast growing from yeah. what Mark Simmons tells me, so. Um, <laughs> It's good news. Um, and then this week, there's also a brunch for uh, Polo. Polo is parents of little ones, so the, the littlest little ones. And it's a way for our um, for new parents to get to know each other and for kids to get to know each other as we start to build that generation of, of the Sunday School cohort. Um, and that is in Hamilton, I believe? That's correct. Um, and that is a lay-led group, so um, that's peer-led. Um, so if you've got a little kid, um, that would be the, the place to go to meet some folks. Or if you've seen someone around who might like to be more connected to those groups, um, there's some really exciting programming for the year coming up in Polo. So it's a great chance to get to know them. If you're not in town and watching this, um, don't worry, there'll be more opportunities um, in the fall. There are lots of exciting things happening in CYF across the board. Our yeah. programming is really wonderful for the upcoming year. And as we look for some of that, you may notice that after services, some of our youth are hanging around uh, with either me or with uh, Nicole and I both. Uh, so there are opportunities for training. If you're looking for a refresh, if you're an acolyte, or really anyone that's serving in any role, regardless yeah. of your age, for how we do service here on a Sunday, uh, we're inviting you right now in this month to just hang around after the service for a really informal uh, training and and to also note that we want everyone to be aware of that CYF newsletter uh, because there's so much happening at any given time as we prepare for this upcoming year that's going to be great. It is. There's a there's a lot to sign up for and also don't worry about it yet. Um, it's all we're all we're populating the website, getting everything set. But Ministry Fair is really the the day that um, most things get signed up for. So don't worry. There'll be people to talk to. Um, to get set, but if you are worried um, and you want to be set for the year, almost everything's um, on the calendar so that you can do that. One of the reasons we're doing these regular trainings is we are probably finally at the last stage of emerging as a congregation from pandemic restrictions. Um, so having enough communion stations, getting the flow back in a way that we're not trying to avoid each other um, is a whole practice. It's been years. Um, so we're, and we've got, an, and, the, and the kids have grown in the years. Um, so we're all learning together and hoping to re-empower them to, to lead in worship in the way that they did before these pandemic restrictions, um, which is all just very exciting. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. And they're doing an incredible job. I feel like they teach Flawless. us more about what Flawless. to do in service than yeah. we do. It's incredible. So Nancy Zintak, um, our own Nancy Zintak, is on the board of Day One, which is a radio program. Remember those? Yeah. I still listen to my radio. And it's a radio program where you can hear, hear a sermon every day. And that's why Nancy is so wise and spiritual. She listens to one every day on her walk. It's scary to preach to somebody like that. So because Nancy asked me, I agreed to do one of those. And we recorded it in May. Um, but it's this Sunday's reading, which is about the Canaanite woman who comes to Jesus for healing. And Jesus says something about the crumbs under the table. And she kind of comes back and says, um, even the dogs. Basically, it's just, it's some, um, you'll want to be here on Sunday. I'm yeah. sure there'll be a great sermon that'll help us with it, but it's a little rough. Um, but I preached on that in May in a little room at Second Ponce um, for day one. And I'm curious if it still holds up because it's, um, it's released on Sunday. So thank you, Nancy. We're just preaching all over the place this weekend. We'll see you soon.